You are welcome to the Remnant Christian Network Ghana, an apostolic mandate by the Holy Spirit, under the leadership of Apostle Arome Osai. Apostle Arome Osai is a servant of God with a strong burden, desire and commitment to seeing the church established by means of the present truth both within the church and in the marketplace. He is the apostolic leader of Remnant Christian Network, a global apostolic ministry headquartered in Makurdi, Banu State, Nigeria, with a network of churches, ministries and apostolic centers in Nigeria and beyond that operate with the mandate to strive for the rebirth of apostolic Christianity as millions of people across the nations are being discipled in the name of the Lord. The following message was preached by Apostle Arome Asayi at the Hana Call, in Accra, Ghana. Listen and be blessed. It's now time for the moment. The time you are waiting for. It's time for the climax. The moment where the dimensions of God and the mysteries of God will be released. I was going through the Facebook and somebody described him as the Puritan of the 21st century. The Puritan of the 23rd century. Pioneering the kingdom and the preaching of the word of God to all the nations. Let's welcome Apostle Arabi Osai. Thank you. that just ministered. She released I was I was blessed by your ministry. Amen. Lord we give you praise. We thank you tonight. We ask that you have your way and let your name be glorified in Jesus mighty name. You may be seated. Turn your Bible to the book of Exodus. Exodus will do Bible study for a few minutes, then we'll begin to pray. For a few minutes, then we'll begin to pray. Exodus 19. In the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day they came unto the wilderness of Sinai. For they were departed from Rephidim and came into the desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness. And there Israel camped about the mount. And Moses went up to God and called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say unto the house of Jacob, And tell the children of Israel, ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and now I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Now, therefore, if ye obey my voice indeed and keep my commandment, then ye shall be 
a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. First of all, I want you to underline peculiar people. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. And these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. At this point in time, they had departed from Egypt. For many of them, the identity that they sustained was an identity that was imparted to them in Egypt. And now God has dissociated them from that connection and they need a new identity. Took them through the wilderness, came to the Mount Sinai. And then Moses went on the Mount to commune with God in order for him to ascertain the identity of the people that have come out of captivity. And in the interaction that he had with God, God began to unveil the texture of the kind of nation I want to forge. Whereas, you know, those days while we're still in primary school, we used to call Ghana the Gold Coast, a gold nation. I don't know, is there still gold here? Okay, there's still gold in Ghana. So we used to call Ghana the Gold Coast. The gold nation. In those days, Britain was a navy nation. Because if you go to Scotland, you will find that's where ships are built. Most of the ships we use for our navigation purposes were built in Scotland. So the Great Britain was known as a navy nation. And that's how they were able to come this way and colonize us. And today we speak English language because a Navy nation put on their strength and they decided to cover the landscape. India, a nation of philosophy. In their inventory, they have about six million gods. And so if you are going to be an Indian, you must find out which god you will devote your life to. It's a confusing landscape, like a forest, a desert, a wilderness, because it's built on philosophy. However, God was about to crystallize a nation. And the nation that God wants to crystallize has never existed before, so there's no reference point for this kind of nation upon the face of the earth. He wants to pioneer a priest nation, a priest nation, never existed before. And it was a vision that God had in his heart. And he wanted to crystallize a nation of priests. In fact, it is the unique nature of this nation that is going to confer upon them the identity of being a peculiar people. I will take us on a journey in scripture. Meanwhile, this is not the message I came with. I was just, you were transmitting and I designed the scope of the transmission, and I had to align to that transmission. It was a huge, tra you didn't hear anything. You, my God, hallelujah. Amen. There was a huge transmission, movement of spiritual resources were deployed, so I had to, <laughs> to align. So I, I had to leave my jota back there. No, no, it's not more necessary. So Moses went to the mountain to receive an identity for the people of God. This was the identity received that God had a vision to crystallize a priest nation. Now, the little study we are going to do is to show you the infrastructure of that nation that God intend, intended to establish. And then we'll, if we have time, we'll find out why and how this vision that God had failed. It means God could not find a platform for the crystallization of the kind of nation he had in mind in the community of the children of Israel. Let me show you a few infrastructures. Can you 
Are you ready today? You know, yesterday we wanted to go somewhere, but you were already saturated, so we couldn't, no capacity to receive, so we had to shut down. It, it, it's not because of the preacher, but because of the congregation. And that was the kind of frustration that Jesus experienced. He said, I have many things to tell you now, but you cannot bear them. So he, he shut down. I pray today we'll find room. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Let me give you an example. Can we do 1 Samuel chapter 21? Just an example. Trying to expand this, the concept of the priest nation. The extent to which we can go is the degree to which we can contain. If there's capacity, we'll go on a cruise. But the direction was clear through the charge that came. The direction of what the Spirit of God was emphasizing was very clear, beyond doubt. This is the pathway that the Spirit of God has designed for us. First Samuel chapter 21. So that your confidence in every other thing will be zero. And then your confidence will be in God. Uh, have you not read your scripture? It said that I may know him, the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his suffering. Until he brings you to conformity with death. Paralysis. It brings you there where you ha can have no confidence in any connection, any wisdom you have in your beauty, in anything that is an advantage. That's the experience of death which will be applied to your life by the Holy Ghost. To bring you to a point where you no longer have confidence in the flesh. It is when you get there that prayer becomes your only rescue option. You will not accept prayer as generosity. Oh, you are not. You, you, you see, the reason why you are not um, um, concerned about your prayer life is because you still believe you have an option. And the work of the Holy Spirit, in view of the fact that you are a product of the cross, is that you will apply death. That thing you are running after, so your confidence, it won't work. And I prophesy, it will work. <laughs> oh, this is New Testament preaching. That motivational thing that you heard because they are expecting you to be depressed so you come for motivational therapy. There was no motivational message in the Bible because the spirit is involved. It is him that helps your infirmities. We are not prepared for war. And so on the scale of our value we are rated low. However, the reason why I brought you here is to show you something. The unit of measurement of this list is what the Bible calls the shekel of what? Of the sanctuary. Now, the shekel of the sanctuary is different from the mundane shekel in society. In fact, if you come with your mundane shekel, you will need to visit what we call the table of the morning changers and understand the current forex rate. Shame. Do you understand that? And then you will not get shekel of the sanctuary to transact. That's when you can buy ram for sacrifice. Two turtle doves if, if you are a poor man. And then do kingdom, uh, priestly, temple kind of worship. Do you understand that? Do you still remember when Jesus showed up and the forex business was booming? But the prayer business, which is the purpose of the temple, was almost comatose. Meanwhile, just like the banks are supposed to be as strong as the economy, but because of sharp practices, our banks are stronger than the economy. The forex business is supposed to be consistent with the prayer revival that is in the temple. But they found how to sustain the forex business apart from its lifeline. And so Jesus came. Oh, it seems I'm saying something. There's a business that is going on. And that business is sustainable. Apart from the business of the temple. And meanwhile, it's supposed to be as strong as temple business. 
Do you understand that? What you have missed in my delivery is that the temple has its own financial system. And that was because of the priest nation. Jesus spoke a lot about money. And if you are going to be a spiritual man, you need to know how to use money. Yes. If it is true that you are sold out to God, because God wants you to consecrate to him first, if you do so, it will be easy for you to give money. Because you already belong to him. So if we take money from someone that is not consecrated to God, we stole. Because the man is not God's property. He has not submitted. What? He, oh, you don't get it. Oh, do you realize that God had to accept Abel before he accepted his offering? But we have systems in place that can make rat, vagabonds, people, rebels, to those systems are the things that weaken Zion because we don't understand the financial system that is put in place to support is on a different currency, the shekel of the sanctuary. I'm still trying to show you the framework of the priest nation. So that if you are in the outer court, you can make a move. True kingdom people don't own anything. They don't have property rights. Just like in marriage, you can't say this television is mine. No, because you lost property rights in that union. The property rights of the constitution of Ghana doesn't apply to your home. You lost it. A lady came to me because she had some stuff. I said, you mean, pastor, that when I get married... I lose this stuff. I say, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, that's a hard one. You, you would have made it easy. You would, uh, oh, marriage is not easy. Don't think it's about making your hair. It's a setup. It's a setup to ensure that you are not self, you are not self-centered. Because if you keep on being as self-centered as you are, it won't work. You will need to look beyond yourself. And even though you are hurting, you are trying to make the other person happy. It's, it's, some, it's, it's one of the appendages of the cross. You don't understand. Oh. Hey. Hey. Don't get confused about how we smile in public. It's an adventure of death. It is only when you have sacrificed all that you begin to see a juice spring forth out of the entire setup. Because you have your own mind. The mind with which you went to the University of Ghana, that mind is still there. You will need to learn sacrifice. You will need to learn service, how to serve the other person. And you need to learn how to submit yourself one to another under the broad canopy of the fear of God. These are not things for canals. So it is easier for a canal pastor to make you feel, oh my God, Mary is a journey. And then you will sing like we used to do in Nigeria. Um, how do they, what's that song? And everybody's dancing. Wake up. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Every fiber of your being will know you are married. Every fiber. In fact, Paul said, don't we have power to lead about a sister? You will find out you need power, power to, to lead a sister. You need power. But you are here, you have not built capacity. You, are, you don't know self-control. It's anybody that insults you, you want to insult back, you will learn how to keep quiet. The oath of silence. Keep quiet. Around the world, marriages are failing because the church has not taken a stand to become a beacon for the kingdom. We are trying to tap into um, philosophy, psychology, and motivation to keep people in the charismatic zoo. What we are running is the kingdom, not a zoo. The height of apostolic ministry was in the book of Acts chapter 13 when some people found their unique destiny in God and there was a system on ground to release them into their destiny. That's how we will infiltrate the world. It's not about sitting capacity. It's about sending capacity. Sending capacity. And they laid their hands upon them. They sent them forth into destiny. That was the center 
that matured in stature enough to begin to release people into their destiny. It's not the skill and tact of how to keep people bound. It's how to release men into their destiny. A system of building capacity through the grace of God and when people begin to arrive at the corridors of maturity where they understand their left from right and the purpose of God, they are given the backing of the church to step into destiny. That's how people will enter into the financial world and they will begin to fight against the corruption and the spirits that are in that place because they have stepped into destiny. They have the backing of the house of God to end and bring the kingdom of God into that space. That's how people that study journalism can be released into where news is made. And we can make our own news that, that yes, that captures our own possibilities, our own perspective, so that our voice will not be drowned out in the pool of news items that becloud the minds of men. That time has come for us to take our journey. And what God is doing is conscripting people. The moment you say, what will you have me do? And that's the question. Then you now understand, this is the part in which my life will be released as a drink offering. Many years ago, God showed me the continent of Africa. I was still a stammerer there. I didn't have the ability to speak the way you just did. You want me to speak to Africa? Oh, you created me a stammerer. And God wanted me to know that the creator has not stopped creating. But I felt it was done. And as I walked with God, he touched my tongue a little. As I walked with God, he touched my tongue a little. Because when I started preaching, I was preaching myself. How that I was a first class student and I'm going to graduate best of class. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Then the stammering will come because I was preaching myself. So when I started preaching Christ, then he started tuning off the thing gradually uh, until he allowed me um, this, the level of capacity, which I know this is not the best. As I still align more, then he will. It's a work in progress. The path of the just is as a shining light. It shineth more and more onto the perfect day. Something is about to happen in Africa. It's the rise of the priest nation where everyone is an active service to the great God of heaven. Everyone knows what he's been called to do. Everyone knows the gates to which he's appointed. And they know how to mount altars to cut covenants in the spirit. To move the hand of God. To begin to come in the offensive against the onslaught of the kingdom of darkness. And everything will begin to reflect Christ. The purpose of God that has been hidden in your family. For many years will begin to find expression. A priesthood will begin to arise. The voice of God will become clearer. People will see what God is doing. It will be clear that the politicians don't have the answer. It will be clear that our current model of justice and judgment has failed but the kingdom of God comes with healing it comes with a possibility that men cannot mimic men cannot make to happen because the king the governor of all nations will come and bring healing in his wings something is about to happen it's about to happen and so God has called us on a journey of intimacy as you open your heart to love him then he begins to show you what he created you to do. As astronauts explore space, so we are called to explore God. And as we move and navigate, there is there's a search facility in the spirit that is more versatile than Google. Uh, the Bible says that the spirit himself, he, he searches all things. He searches even into the depths of God. There are things in God that are hidden. But the spirit of God will orchestrate a search. And your understanding will be flooded with light. And there's a shift in your delivery. There's a shift in your outlook. There's a shift in the way you talk. Because God begins to show you great and mighty things. Which you did not pick up from the University of Ghana. As you align, more grace will be given. Then it will be clear to even people that hate you. This one was chosen by God. Your definition, your identity, your essence happens to be in Christ. 
Because the Bible says by him were all things created. Things in heaven. Things on earth. And in him does everything consist. It is through him you can find the meaning of your life. And that's why Paul said, what will you have me do? Show me the meaning of my spaceman. Show me the meaning of my existence. So that I'll set foot and I'll become an expression of what heaven has written concerning me. And when you begin to function this way, secrets will be unveiled to you. How did Moses know that in the midst of the Red Sea was a navigation path? He was in communion with the one that created. He hid a road in the river. So that in the fullness of time. When his people will need to come out of captivity. A Moses that understands the frequency of God. Can come and stretch forth his rod. And that road that the creator put in place. Will be unveiled. The Bible says that they walked on dry ground. Ghana will walk on dry ground. Africa will walk on dry ground. Oh my God. If the quality of our priesthood is magnified, you will begin to see the navigation paths that God hid in the rocks, that God hid in Kumasi, that God hid in the northern region. How to bring people from darkness to light. A priesthood that has capacity will rise from among us. The prayer point for the moment is, what will you have me do? 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 God had a vision to crystallize a priest nation. It came to pass in the same Sinai where the counsel of God was revealed that Israel raised an idol after the gods that were worshipped in the land of Egypt. And when Moses came from the mountain top, he saw that Israel had gone to war against idols. And the commandments that he was bringing from God were already broken before he got to the people. And so Moses knew that they didn't need the Ten Commandments. And he destroyed the stone. And in that day he decreed, who is on the Lord's side? And the tribe of Levi came out. That which God wanted to do with the nation, he could now do with just a tribe. There was a downgrading of God's vision. No, the story of Ghana will be different. The entire house, the entire clan will be part of the priest nation. What will you help me do? I could sell him on telly. A basket cope la co salabo coria. Bresuco patula. Melacusque tayeco santelli. Escopezo sina capalata. Ambresco fasama talebo coria. What will you have me do? I came from a Christian family. My parents are believers in Jesus. But I find the test a a a, 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 a tendency in my soul to go the way of darkness. Now I surrender to you and I ask a question. What will you help me do? What will you help me do? What will you help me do? Say compelis go felamanto. Barasco peteli. Embolas cobela cotano. Rasquito cope sema tala. Is cope sama santa babo. Emilo mocoria. Preso compa tala babo se cape. Embresuca. Besus and nane bocopele. Is it a right sign? Because your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For Gentiles, they shall come into your light and kids into the brightness of your life. Something is about to break forth. God chose you.
before the foundations of the world you existed as a seed of eternity before you were formed in your mother's womb our God is a God of purpose he has a plan for everything he does there is a plan for your life you can ask him tonight and say Lord what will you have me do it is hard for you to kick against the bricks it is hard for you to kick against the barbed wire it is hard for you to stand against God it is better for you to align what will you have me do God doesn't want you to be creative he wants you to be in alignment he doesn't want you to be smart he wants you to yield what will you have me do Jesus, 
never be a to consecrate ourselves. The reason for the worship is to bring us to a point where we are ready. We are convinced about consecration. This is your moment with the Lord now. If you have come to the conclusion that I live to serve His will, then you can commit yourself. Say, so shall it be. Everything I am and have, my money, my beauty, my talent, my intelligence will not be a tool in the hand of the devil to adorn his kingdom, but it will be a tool in the hand of God. It will be a tool in the hand of God. It is the way of priests to consecrate themselves to serve his will. We will serve you. Our sons and our daughters will serve you. Our nations will serve your will. Your voice will remain among us. We live to serve your will everywhere we are found. We are first citizens of heaven. Through you, heaven will have a voice. Heaven has hands and feet. We will serve your will. Come in cobre la mahaita. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Maribo son te ni ke pokoria praskito mokoramante. Let's go pre habarato skiso sil. Mando come la hiko shemina kore. We will serve your will in the name of Jesus. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also have it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect and precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, 
and unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same has been made the head of the corn. A stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them have stumbled at the word, being disobedient also as they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Show forth indeed the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And so tonight in the general assembly we decree that we are your workmanship created in Christ Jesus for to do that which you have ordained beforehand to be done. We will serve your will. Only give us the grace to stand when our soul is under contention that we might say with boldness him even Jesus is my Lord and my Savior and him will I serve all the days of my life we choose you afresh O beauty of heaven we choose you afresh O King of Kings be God and Lord forever the reason for our existence the reason for what we do and let the light of your countenance shine amidst us in the name of Jesus. Let blindness be overtaken. Let darkness be destroyed. We were called to show the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. So let it be written in the heavens that this day we surrender. Let it be chronicled among the angels. That the people that are called by his name have humbled themselves to seek his face and to turn from their wicked ways. And by this, O oh God, hear from heaven. Forgive the sins of the land and heal our territories, heal our families in the name of Jesus Christ. We surrender. From the least to the greatest among us. We surrender. Let your heart be pleased today and heal the land. Let there be a manifestation of your omnipotent power in the elections that will be coming forth in December. Heal the land in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Now for the next 30 minutes, we are going to do a healing service. You know, what we did now is the service of priests. It always ends with a higher consecration. It's in that atmosphere of alignment with heaven and earth that mantles are released. Graces are deposited. Insufficiencies are made up by the Spirit of God. All kinds of exchanges begin to take place. Transactions of the Spirit. Covenants are called. Gates are open. Access is granted. There is penetration. There is coverage. There is reach. It's a kingdom atmosphere. That place where Jesus is king is the point of interaction. Oh, the throne of grace becomes accessible. Men begin to reach out beyond weaknesses into the strengths that are available in the capacities of God. We come as a priest nation. Not with personal agenda, but to see to it that the glory of his majesty is seen, <laughs> is known. And if men see how beautiful he is, they will come out of the courts. They will come out of the lodges. They will come out of the dark places to worship at his feet. It's our duty to put him on the pedestal. So that all the mountains will be humbled. The oaks of Bashan, the cedars of Lebanon will be cut off. That the valleys will be elevated. 
that all the stones thereof will be gathered out so that a highway will be made for Messiah to come. We are that generation that will labor in this wise until the knowledge of the glory of God covers the earth as the waters cover the sea. We will not stop. That's our oath of office. Until, until the knowledge of the glory of God covers the earth as the waters cover the sea. We will not stop. You say, oh, they tried. <laughs> when you, that's what you think. Tomorrow we are up again. We will not stop. <laughs> we will not stop. You say, my God, a great event in Ghana. That's all you see. We will not stop. Until the knowledge of the glory of God covers the earth as the waters cover the sea. So shall it be. Grace is your portion. Grace is your portion. Elevation is your portion. Oh, the Lord will become your strength. In the midst of pressure, you will find the capacity within that is coated with the text of your conviction. We serve the King of Kings. Be bold. Let nothing make you shrink. Let nothing make you ashamed. Because the love of God is shared abroad our hearts by the Holy Ghost. It will become easy for you now. You know, for many of us, prayer was a struggle before this time. It will be easy now. For the Spirit of God will help your infirmities. And you will be inspired to pray. You will be quickened to pray in groanings that mortal language cannot utter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Give him glory, give him praise. We thank you for the call of Hannah. And so we come out of the swamp. We come out of the woods. We come out of our hiding places from our panel houses to heed the call. To heed the call for a transformation. To heed the call for the birth of a new dispensation. A birth of a new era. We heed the call of Hannah. We hear the call. We hear the call. And the least among our numbers will become as strong as David. We hear the call. We hear the call. For though thy beginning be small, thy later end shall greatly increase. We hear the call. We hear. We hear the call. Because in it is our transformation. In it is our promotion, our elevation. We hit the call to intercession. We hit the call to priesthood. It's a priest nation the Lord intends to crystallize. We hit the call. Meanwhile, immorality might be common spread, but we are a priest in the nation of righteousness. Meanwhile, darkness might be gaining a stronghold, but we separate ourselves as the people of the priest nation. And all the demands of consecration we are willing to fulfill so that our lives will become that, that, that illumination lamp that will bring advertisement to the Lord. His grace upon us will be evident. And many men will see how that he has transformed us from darkness to light. Glory, hallelujah. We heed the call tonight as a generation. And those of you listening to us through social media, YouTube, Facebook, I hope you can hear the call. It's a clear call. A call to embrace the king and to allow the king the right of way to be manifest through your vessel. We heed the call. As our hearts align to his voice, the policies that he crystallizes from heaven will become the administrative setup to implement it upon the face of the earth. We heed the call. A new generation comes. The Lord is their God and his voice is in the midst of them. The cry of the kingdom is trapped among them. Just because we heed the call, 
no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rises in judgment will condemn it. It will be clear soon that the powers of the old court have a limitation. It will be clear very soon that the powers of the kingdom of darkness can be stopped. Because we heeded the call, he will make you strong in all things. He will make all grace to abound so that we have in all sufficiency, in all things might abound unto every good work. We heed the call. And indeed the least among us will become as strong as David. The day of the kingdom emerges. A day where Christ is king. We heed the call in the name of Jesus. So that's what the meeting is about. It's a conscription enterprise. It's a conscription enterprise. Now we want to do healing for 30 minutes. The first thing I want you to do, because you did not, many of you didn't come with the sick. So let's, the anointing here must not be wasted, okay? This is how we're going to do to spread it. You, you can take your cell phone and call any sick person anywhere in the world. Just leave your phone running. I hope you have credit. Call Chicago. Call Alabama. Call Kumasi. Leave the phone running. And if you are sick in the congregation, you're welcome. You're welcome. So I want to give you time to make the call. Call the deaf, the blind, the dumb, the crippled, those that are bedridden, those that cannot walk, the doctors have given up, those caught up with cancer, with tumors, all kinds of stuff, crippled. Those whose ailments cannot be diagnosed, you can call. You can call right now. And say, there's a young preacher that is boasting about Jesus here. He still believes that Jesus can heal and break yokes and reverse the sentence of death. And so I took, I, I, I became diligent to call you. That's why the phone is on and running. He wants to pray. And those of you that are sick, listen to me. If you have a situation of deafness, maybe one of your ears has become weak. You are trusting God for it to be restored. Just follow my instruction. Take this finger. Put it in the ear that you cannot hear very well. And seal it up. If you came here with glasses, even though the glasses look good on you, and you, for one minute, you just felt life would be easier without glasses, you can remove the glasses. Put it in your pocket. Amen. And then lay your hands on your eyes as we pray. And then the Lord will go around in the congregation. He'll begin to correct sights and all that kind of stuff. All you needed to do to be touched, to be healed, is just to come or get connected through the cell phone. And those of you listening through the internet, YouTube, Facebook, you are entitled to your deliverance right now. So you can put your hand where the sickness is. I'm still giving you a few more minutes to make the connection for those of you that have not yet done so on the phone. If I say in the name of Jesus, you give me the best amen you can find. All right? In the name of Jesus. Amen. You try. Now let's try again. Reduce your volume. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, the reason why I said you should say amen. If you do, it will be easy for me to see people's problems. Just like I saw now. There's someone who were involved in an accident. And when you were involved in this accident, you had some pains. And because of the pains that you had, you used a kind of support for a time because of the pain until you became healed. And then recently, the pains that you had from that accident, they are coming back, even though you have not had another accident. If that is your case, please come out here. The pains are coming back. 
you notice them coming back. If that is your case, you can come now. You notice that the pains are coming back. But it's not as if you had another accident. Quickly, quickly, quickly. If you're up, if you're upstairs, you run down now. Because God wants to touch that pain now. When you say amen, it will be easy for me to see in the spirit. Now listen. For you, where's your pain? What of you? All right. Let us test this. You know, before we go very far, we'll start with this one. Can you stretch your hand in that direction and say, Lord, let this pain go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Someone will come press Kavila Hose Mata. Ibose Zaliko, Kabes Kuve Lama, Kaitom Palasco Feletuske Pre, Kuve Sale Kopalua Sata Bata Lekota. Amo Seliketa, Ibro Mokoto Moskiso Saliko Baselita. Aimo Sapra Katabo Kosila. Mandos kete komba suka presko fetabi pra atakuda isko belama siko. Oh, we give you glory. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Now I break the yoke. I refuse the pain to sit back on the body. And I command. Ooh, the spirit of infirmity. Depart now. Amen. 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 Let the yoke break now. Amen. Break now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Alright, do what you could not do before. You that is on the waist, try to bend. Let's see. Just do it. So help me look for the pain. Yes, check for it. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, so that's the experiment, okay? Anything can go now, anything. You are released, you are released, you are released. In the name of Jesus. Say that table. Now listen, 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 listen. One of you, three days ago, you saw in your dream, someone came to hurt you. But the dream didn't end before you came out. You snapped out of the dream. Three days. Where are you? Three days ago. Come quickly, come quickly. It's, it's, it's an emergency. That's why I'm calling you. It's an emergency. Three days ago, someone came to hurt you, but it did not end. You snapped out. If you're up, come down. It's an emergency. The Lord wants to do something here. He wants to end that cycle of attack and to release your soul. Now, please, uh, use a mic to find out from her what exactly she saw, okay? And let's be sure that it's three days. Is it three days? Can you give this lady some volume on the mic? I hope you are not in a hurry. Keep what the phone running. Keep Hello. the phone. Keep it running. Keep it running. Keep it running. It was three days around 2, 3 a.m. And the person was having a gun. A gun. Yes, so come on. Yeah. So um, he, he was attacking me. I was trying to escape. Then I entered the room. 
So when I entered a room, thinking I was rescued, I met a woman who said, if I'm going to rescue, then you have to take care of these people. And when I saw this, the people, they were also holding a gun, trying to attack me. They were sick. So I just got up. She woke up? From the dream. Okay. I will not tell you the whole story, what really happened. Um, just keep your story, okay? I have another story which uh, we may not need to. Oh, yes, go on. Okay, so what I saw was like, I was sleeping and it seemed like a snake. It bit his hand. So I had to scream. It came out. So my mother came praying for oh, me. Oh, you actually screamed out. And part from my elbow to my fingers, I couldn't feel it for some time. Then it fell. I will also not say anything from my own perspective. Keep your story. But now we want to judge the one that is trying to attack you yeah. so that we can stop the attack. Like I said, I won't tell you much about Can we pray and say, Lord, this family-based attack structure, can you destroy it? Pray for them. Ambre <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Are you also standing now? Two of you. Now listen. One of you here. The Lord wants to deal with your case himself. Alright? One of you. I don't know. So um, his anointing will descend upon that one. Now if you see that sign, it means all of you have been attended to. Alright? So... Sometimes people say, when we pray, we don't know if God is answering. So, I want, this is, will be, this, this will be the physical sign. Prayer too can produce physical signs, all right? Now, leave that lady, leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Don't tamper with the holy ground. If it's her, we don't know whether it's her. We don't know. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask for a sign. Um, and the sign I seek is that you anoint one of them. Anoint one of them. Anoint one of them. It's coming. It's coming. I, I sense it. From the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. From the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Let it be stronger. 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 Yes, let the yoke break now. The, okay, see, it's still coming. It's still coming. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, I ask that you anoint. I ask that you anoint from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. From the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Holy Spirit anoint. Holy Spirit anoint. Holy Spirit anoint. He's doing a work right now. He's doing a work. He's doing a work. He's doing a work. I ask that you touch them. 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 Let the yoke break. Let it break. Let it break in the name of Jesus. Oh my. Pastor, just touch her head for me. Touch her head. Yes, let it flow like a stream. Like a river. Like a river. Like a river. And let the monitoring instrument come out of her body. Pastor, pastor, help me. Just lay hands on this one. Let it flow like a current, like a river. Like a river. Like a river. Like a river. And let there be deliverance. Let the spirit come out. Let the spirit come out. Let it be released. Let her be released in the name of Jesus. Oh my. Oh my. Come on, see. Glory. Glory. There's a shift in the spirit. Yes, your soul is free. Your soul is free. Your soul is free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, tonight, I bind every sickness. Bind every disease. Deafening spirits be bound. Come out of the ears. Blinding spirits be bound. Come out of the eyes. Come out, come out, come out. 
those ones that are afflicted, blood conditions, genotype issues, HIV issues, I curse that spirit of death, cancer issues, I command it to dry up in the name of Jesus. I bind every pain from the head, from the spinal cord, from the legs, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Every form of arthritis, arthritis, hear me, in the name of Jesus, be bound. Be bound. Be bound. Be bound. And come out. Come out of the bodies. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of paralysis. Be bound. Be bound. Come out of the bodies. Come out of their bodies. Come out of their bodies. In the name of Jesus. That one in the congregation that when you sleep and you have, you hear a little noise, you wake up and it will be almost impossible for you to get back to sleep. I bind that spirit of restlessness in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the door of healing be open. Let the river begin to flow right now. Let it begin to flow right now. Okay, healing has started. Healing has started. Now I say loose them. Spirit of infirmity, loose them. Loose them now. Loose them now. Loose them now. Loose them now. In the name of Jesus, loose them now. Spirits of darkness, loose them now. Loose them now. Loose them now. Loose them now. In the name of Jesus. Now bring that lady for me. I command darkness. I command the yoke. Let it begin to break. Let it begin to break. Let it begin to break. That family form of witchcraft that has tied people down. I command it to break. Let it break. Let it break. Release your captives. Release your captives. Release your captives. Release your captives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, come over, see her. Rise and be healed this moment. 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 In the name of Jesus. I see blood. Blood that was donated to an altar. And there are many spirits that have been agitated. And because of the agitation, there is a sense of the spirit of death around you. I bind the spirit of death. I bind the spirit of death. I decree it is not your portion. It is not your portion. It is not your portion. In the name of Jesus. I command the eyes to see. I command the ears to hear. I command the limbs to walk. I command that one that is bedridden, rise up, 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 rise up in the name of Jesus. Migraine, go. Ulsa, go. Asthma, go. I bind asthma. I bind asthma. I command you to go. I command you to go. Let the yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Now you can begin to talk to the people on the phone and you yourself can check your body. Uh, if it's an eye condition, you can try to use your eyes right now and try to read. Um, if, if, yeah, you can try to read, you can check yourself out. You can call the person that you just spoke with on the phone and find out how they are doing. If they are still on the bed, tell them rise now. The preacher says rise, rise now. Rise now. Rise now. Rise now. He says rise now. He says rise now. The yoke is broken. Rise now. Rise now. Rise now. The yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. If you confirm a miracle, you can come this way. If you confirm it, either on yourself or on someone that you just called. If you confirm a miracle, this is where to stand. Because the, the river of miracles is flowing. It's flowing. If you confirm a miracle, 
this is where to stand. Someone got healed on the phone, this is where to stand. You felt something leave your body, this is where to stand. You can use your legs properly now, this is where to stand. The pain has gone, this is where to stand. So this way.
phone right now. Okay. She's had several treatments from several hospitals concerning her weight and sometimes her whole body. So when I called her, she's still online. I asked her how she's feeling for feedback. She said it's getting better and it's getting better. Rather, no medication as we are just here. Yes. Now, let's, let's, let's connect them all. Hello. Now, listen, Hello. listen, listen. Hello, Queen. Hello. Yeah, oh, fine. How are you feeling now? Hey, if you Hey, if you Thank you, God. Yeah. Thank you. She said it's better. It's better than first. Now, I don't know that language, but I believe there's an improvement there. Yes, please. From the phone, can we celebrate Jesus? He's a miracle. Jesus. philanthropy goes around doing good and so he's here that's why things are happening i just came to introduce him to you and then to release him to work now don't think the preacher don't overestimate the preacher just follow the instructions that jesus is giving for instance i didn't ask you to bring him i said people that are healed 
The ones that are not healed, me, I will go to them. Right? The ones that are healed, no, 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 leave her, leave her, leave her. Don't take her away. Oh, leave her. Leave her. She's in clinic. Do you come with muscular men to the clinic and you discharge people? Is that? This Jesus clinic. You don't even know what is happening. Are you just, hey, you don't know. Calm down. Guy, stop that. Now, these two people are not healed. Don't suffer this woman. Take her back. I think she has a cane that she's working with. Don't worry. You are too fat. You have your own agenda, your own plan. That's the problem. Jesus won't follow your plan. He's too big. He's... Is, is the Lord's spirit. The Lord is that spirit. So he's a king spirit. You don't send him on errands. He does what he wants. So you just create the atmosphere and say, we are here. Then when he wants, he comes and says, I want to. Don't. The, in, there are some level of disobedience you might do now. He will leave me. Me, even me here. He will leave me and go. So to save me, just you are not closer to healing because you are closer to the preacher. I mean, why the reason why we started early today, see, see where we are, is because we want to do a thorough job. Wait, don't, don't be in a hurry. The ones that are not healed, leave them in one corner. Then I will come there when I, when I finish this one. Then when we will now see what God will. And it is him. It's not the preacher. You get that? All right. So that you can also save me in the process. And everybody will be saved. Amen. Not that you do what you want and then at the end of the day I have a problem with him. It will not be okay. All right. Say, so what's uh, happening? All right, Papa, there is a miracle online from Ishkat Boache watching from YouTube. Okay. And he says, just this evening I had water enter my left ear. And there was echoes anytime I gnashed my teeth okay. or tapped my ear. But now it's no more. It's, it's no. YouTube. Right there on YouTube. Brother, you are healed in the name of Jesus. And it is permanent. Yes? Uh, my mom has been having pain in her knee. Pain in her knee? Yes, please. Even this morning, she said she was feeling the pain. And before I called her, it was there, but it was faint. But as of now, there is no pain. The pain. Where is she? She's in Tema. She's in Tema all the way. So God packaged a miracle and dispatched it to Tema. She's online. So She's online. Okay, she even wants to greet, greet the house. Okay, no problem. Oh, <laughs> Hello. Hello, ma. Um, Pastor Wonaino Edison. Pastor Ekwana. You, you know why I like the phone miracle? It cannot be manipulated. So just in case you went somewhere and they were fixing miracles, this one is beyond my power. I don't even understand the languages. I'm wondering. I say, Meanwhile, why is it that everybody understands this language in Ghana? I don't understand. There's a problem. There's something happening. You people speak one language and everybody can understand it. How did you do that? Well, uh, I will still study more and find out. Because I think that is one of the reasons why you guys are united. It is permanent in the name of Jesus. You can come up for a blessing right now. We ask for perfection in the life of your mother. In the name of Jesus. Yes? Apostle, uh, last two weeks I went to the hospital. Um, I had severe pains in my right, uh, left uh, chest. Left chest. Okay. And also my uh, he headaches. Headaches. So they gave me a lot of medicine to be taking, you know. But after taking it for about two weeks, I was not seeing any improvement. There's no improvement there. So when you told us to uh, stretch out our hands and pray for the people who are sick in front, yeah. I realized that something just left this body. Uh, you see, the doctors study for six years. They must say something. Then if you go now, they'll say it's called the. They have names, strange names that are not in the Bible. Hallelujah. Come up, come up. But the Bible says that every knee bows. 
Every name that is named, including the name of your sickness, bows. Yes. I spoke to my sister this afternoon after church and she complained of. Meanwhile, wait, 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 you see. The, the, what? There were remaining two demons there. So he's free now. Is the Alpha Alpha? manipulate this one. 